It's nice to have you back here in this new video. In our previous episode on the Insta 360 Ace Pro, we have already covered an in-depth side-by-side -side comparison in between the GoPro Hero 12 Black, the Insta 360 Ace Pro, and the DJI Osmo Action 4. I believe you have already noticed some of the real differences in between these three cameras. You might be wondering why making a second comparison video only in between the Insta 360 Ace Pro and the DJI Osmo Action 4. I think the GoPro Hero 12 Black is not that competitive compared with the Ace Pro and the Action 4, especially in low light performance. So I really want to dive deeper in between these two cameras, the Ace Pro and Action 4. I just want to know which one is the ultimate better action camera in the year 2023. First, let's start with some camera basic side-by-side -side comparison in between these two cameras. They're both equipped with the Omnivision's latest OV48C image sensor with 1 over 1.3 inch and up to 40 megapixels with quad bear patterns. And with the Ace Pro, considering the Insta360 has gem packed a 5 nanometers cutting edge SOC inside this camera with 48 megapixel full center readout. This Ace Pro is capable to deliver 8K footage. This is the world's first action camera that will capture 8K at 24 frames per second. So judging from the video spec, the Ace Pro definitely rivals that of the Osmo Action 4. Next one is about the optical system. The Ace Pro the optical system was co-engineered with Insta360 and Leica, which assumerates the lens structure at f2.6. This little guy is 1 over 1.3 inch sensor at f2.8. So judging from the aperture, the Ace Pro is a little bit larger. And considering about this optical quality, the co-engineered with Leica structure, the assumerate structure is better than that of the Osmo Action 4. When we talk about the size and shape, the Ace Pro is definitely a little bit heavier and bulkier than the Osmo Action 4. This two camera has almost identical layout. The shutter button on the top with Ace Pro has a square shape, a round shape, a mode switch button on the side, and a side door with a Type-C port. But the Ace Pro put a micro SD card slot. It's quite complicated for Osmo Action 4 to remove the micro SD card because you have to remove the frame first and take out the battery, take out the micro SD card. The bones equipped with a quick release system. And this is the first generation of the Insta360 quick release system. So we had to wait for more third party customer to design some specific accessory for this guy. And these two cameras have different microphone pickup area. I mean, for the Ace Pro, they have a microphone up front, on the top, and on the side. This is a three microphone pickup array, and the microphone on the top was being utilized to re reduce the wind noise. But since got quite interested on Action 4, and Action 4, it has two standalone microphones on, on the front, with one of them located inside of A, and the other one in between the Ford and N. Take a look. It's two microphone on the front and a secret microphone underneath this quick release system. The experience on Action 4 is more fast and fluent. You can quickly install and uninstall the quick release system magnets. And uh, on the Ace Pro, uh, it is fast, but it's not as fast as Action 4. The Osmo Action 4 has a front touch screen and a rear large screen for live preview and you can change the settings on front and back at the same time. And since it's got really interesting on the Ace Pro, when you have the Ace Pro, the front facing screen only displays some spec sheet. The spec sheet, some remain battery life, remain recording time, and the 2.4 inch touch screen will display in the back. But you can flip it up. This is a flip screen. So this is something that definitely differentiates this guy to any other competitors. It's also designed with the locking mechanism to guarantee its reliability in action scenarios. So I think this is something that really touched me 
when I first saw this camera. It's definitely make this action camera a great vlogging camera as well. For the Osmo Action 4, when you vlogging with two cameras, you definitely want large screen like this. Previously, I will have talked about some uh, in-depth side-by-side comparison on some camera basics. Next up, let's talk about the video quality. I really want to deep dive into video side-by-side -side comparison between these two cameras and want to figure out which one is better. These two cameras both equipped with the same image sensor, but I think the Ace Pro make a better use of the pixels on this Omi Vision image sensor because there's a special technology called clarity zoom inside this Ace Pro because when you perform a digital zoom up to 2x, you still get a crystal sharp and clear footage at 4K resolution. Osmo Action 4 also have a 2x digital zoom, but it's been cropped from the original 4K resolution to end up with a blurry video. I mean, you make a side-by-side -side comparison later on, you might figure out by yourself. Clarity zoom is definitely a killer for the Ace Pro, and I really love it. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison in between the clarity zoom on Ace Pro and the digital zoom 2x on Action 4. I mean, clarity zoom really have much better detail and sharpness compared with digital zoom on the right. You can even perform digital zoom on the basis of clarity on the Ace Pro. In Action 4, it's noisy and it's less detailed. Normally use 2x, give some close-up shots, and use a 1x with the warp FOV to shoot some selfie block. This is extremely useful and high quality. I really love it. And on these two cameras, the awesome Action 4 cannot shoot in HDR, but it can shoot in 10-bit D-Log M. And for the Ace Pro, we switch back the frame rate on our 4K30, I mean 4K30, 4K25, 4K24. This camera, the processor, we automatically capture in HDR and retain all the detail in both high and shadow areas. You end up with a footage that is vibrant at the same time full of great detail in some extreme section which has been blown out or cut out on the Osmo Action 4. Action camera was not been considered to be a low line camera until the release of Ace Pro. On the Ace Pro, there's a special pure video mode that helps you capture stunning footage in even in extreme low line scenarios. I mean, with the exact same sensor, this camera could capture some stunning low line footage. But this camera, Awesome Action 4, they also have a hidden switch called Low Light Image, Low Light Image Enhancement. I normally turn it on or turn it to auto. And next up, let's take a side by side comparison in between this low light. And I just want to figure out will pure video rivals that of low light enhancement on the Osmo Action 4? Let's find out. This is a low light footage capture with these two cameras. Well, Ace Pro definitely has more dynamic range, less noise, and better stabilization effects. And this test footage I'm running with the two action cameras. As you can see, the Action 4 suffers from overexposed serious motion blur. While on Ace Pro, I have captured pure video and turn on low light stability option that gave me pretty stunning footage. So judging from the live preview, the Ace Pro looks brighter. It's brighter than Osmo Action 4. These two cameras both have low light enhancement. Uh, just want to make give you a real compare in between the two low light action cameras. On the Action 4, it is almost dark in the live preview. My other Ace Pro, you can barely see my face. I suppose that the Ace Pro, the pure view, is working. It's working in the super dark area. Well, when we're talking about some exposure strategy, the, on the Ace Pro and the Ace, the Insta360 implement a two different strategy, the face, priority, and the matrix. I have already experienced a stunning result with face priority mode, you all, always get a great exposure on your face. This is extremely useful when you're vlogging with Ace Pro. But on the Action 4, you only have a full auto mode. So, sometimes it's a backlit scenario. The Awesome Action 4 is not that comp 
competitive compared with the Ace Pro. When the light changes really fast, such as from dark to bright sunlight, as you can see, the Ace Pro is more responsive and tend to give a better looking exposure. In our previous comparison to camera basics, these two cameras have different microphone pickup area and microphone relocation. Well, on the Ace Pro, you do have a lot of possibilities. You tap in the auto settings, you have a stereo pickup pattern, the wind noise reduction, and the directional focus. The directional focus works extremely helpful, create a shotgun microphone equipment experience, audio experience. Well, for the Osmo Action 4, I mean, the audio quality is also great, but they don't have that much configuration. Uh, you only have a stereo or mono, or you can turn on the wind noise reduction. I normally turn wind noise reduction off for the best possible audio quality and apply some denoising filter in post-production in my software. And the audio you are hearing at this moment are being captured with the onboard microphone on the DJI Osmo Action 4. To help you evaluate the audio performance in daily vlog and to help you evaluate the real wind noise reduction performance in real life. I'm now recording with the Insta360 Ace Pro in backlit scenarios and super windy conditions. As you can see, the, the leaves are waving really fast in my background. This video footage for you to evaluate the audio performance on Ace Pro. And I've just set this Ace Pro the pick and pattern and I turn on wind noise reduction. This is my default setting for daily vlog. To be honest, the Ace Pro definitely benefits a lot from AI features in some very special AI features such as the AI highlights, the AI warp shot lab, the pure shot in photo mode, a 48 megapixel pure shot, high quality photo on the basis of a single raw image, and the ultimate pure video, a stunning low light performance. Even with almost without any motion blur, this definitely makes action camera useful in low light scenarios without motion blur. This is a pretty stunning. That is to say, the Ace Pro is definitely the AI-powered action cam. It's a real AI-powered action cam. When you scroll from top to bottom, you can see there's an icon indicating that there's an AI highlights assistant that built right inside the camera. The sex to the five nanometers very powerful chipset. Now the AI kind of analyzing your footage in real time and marks highlights in your long-term recording when you play back your footage in the gallery session, you can see the AI highlights and smartly analyze your footage and find four different highlights. You can export at separate clips or as a merge clips. So it does save you quite a lot of time in post process. And on the software, the Insta360 app, there's a hidden feature called the motion blur effects. The motion blur filter could help you create the ND filter-like footage. The magic of the motion blur filter on Insta360 app is that you can create the cinematic footage just like you are wearing an ND filter to capture your footage. That is to say you get a slow shutter speed equivalent result on the basis of fast shutter speed. This is something that is really useful for this camera. Although the protection glass is not removable, but it still could get ND filter like the cinematic footage. On the Osmo Action 4, you can definitely wear an ND filter, the different ND filter to get the cinematic footage straight out from the camera. It's faster, it's more responsive. For the Ace Pro, you don't have to use ND filter. You get all the results from the software, but it takes more time. For the Action 4, you get everything straight out from the camera because the lens, the production glass is removable. If you're familiar with my channel that the Ace Pro also now reach the existing Insta360 software features. One thing that I mean, cannot live without is the shot lab effects. In the shot lab effects keep updating dozens of AI generated footage that help you create stunning footage. So the AI shot lab is definitely a must have feature for those of you who have the Ace or the Ace Pro. Here's a basic walkthrough 
on the AI feature. There are some short lab templates that works exclusively for the ACE and ACE Pro. Be sure to connect to the Wi-Fi or via cellular network and go to the edit. Well, this is a brand new AI warp. Uh, here is a basic step-by-step -step tutorial on this AI warp feature. You can in import the shots, the generate AI effects, and you can customize the AI effects. A shot clip, because uh, the single clip under 4 seconds, in between the 4 seconds to 50 seconds. Tap the scissor icon. The next section, you can select 2 or 4 seconds in the, your previous clip. Use AI to generate a partial of your footage or generate the entire footage. You have different options, full or smart draw. Here I do have a red bus in the middle of my footage, so I really want to use the smart draw to partially generate the content and replace this red bus in the middle of my material. Just like that, and uh, the AI will automatically detect the object and apply a mask into our content. Next we have different variations, the cyberpunk, the space, ritual, anime, sci-fi, and voxel. Uh, at this moment, it takes some time to generate the content on a single frame. This is a, a preview photo. Make AI video and use the Wi-Fi or cellular network. Upload this video section to the AI generate server. This is AI production queue. I have already rendered some footage on the basis of my clips. And this is a render queue. Please wait for a moment. <laughs> Lab, we also have Sky Swap, Fly Labs, Horizon Flip, Electrical Surge, Spin Me Around, Match Cuts, Steam Labs. You have dozens of the Shot Lab effects that you can use AI to boost your content creation. To so definitely give it a try. This is something that only Insta 360 could do. As we know, the Insta 360 was famous for their software and frequent firmware upgrade record. So I believe the future we should receive some major firmware upgrade on the ACE and ACE Pro that to revitalize this camera to the next stage. Next up, I really want to make some side-by-side -side comparison in between the accessory universe, in between this Action 4 and the ACE Pro. As you can see, I'm wearing a watch on my wrist. This is a brand new the GPS Light Preview Remote Controller it come with the ACE Pro. It is a ridiculous design that you, with the Apple Watch like accessory, you can remotely power on or off this camera and you get a light preview on your wrist. Here is a basic tutorial on the GPS light preview remote for the ACE Pro. Well, this could double as a remote controller light preview and a GPS trajectory recorder at the same time. I mean, you can turn on this GPS remote and we automatically search and connect or wake up the ACE Pro on the side. Easily get connect is happening in real time, full auto. And here you can see there's, you can just exactly like you have a, a screen on your wrist. You can change different settings and you can record a GPS data. Uh, you can change the resolution, uh, the digital zoom, clarity zoom, uh, exposure, adjust everything exactly like you have the touch screen in the back of your camera. This is pretty insane. I be believe that Insta360 definitely have immigrated the technology from Go3 into this accessory that will elevate the experience of the Zays Pro. It also have coordinate, uh, find directions, and uh, change the settings of this remote at your wrist. This is a pretty stunning. And next, let's take a look. Long press, you have three different options. You can turn off the remote 
or turn off the camera or turn off these two guys simultaneously. And you also have a vibration feedback, taptic feedback. That's pretty unique. Bones camera don't have GPS inside the circuit board, but for the Ace Pro, you have a wide range of accessories like the GPS action remote and the GPS light preview remote controller as I'm wearing on my wrist. And you also have a, a much more accessory that definitely levelate the experience of the Ace Pro to the next level. For the awesome Action 4, it looks more like a traditional action camera. If you want to jam the GPS information inside this Osmo Action 4, you need to purchase the expensive the GPS remote the designed by the DJI. You don't have a screen, you don't have any experience that has been competitive like the, the GPS Light Preview. But for the Ace Pro, it's cross compatible. You can add the stats, you can read the data from the Garmin devices or the Apple Watch. So if you are existed Apple Watch user or a Garmin user, the could wireless connect with Ace Pro and add the stats overlay on your footage. And yes, with the GPS Live Preview remote, you also get similar experience. Well, I think this definitely makes the Ace Pro a lot better compared with the Osmo Action 4. Next up, let's talk about the price and availability in between these two cameras. Ace Pro, Action 4, Ace Pro is definitely more expensive compared with the Osmo Action 4 with better spec, more AI power features, and a wide range of accessories like the GPS Live Preview remote controller. At the launch event of the Insta360 Ace Pro, it also comes with a secondary action camera called the Insta360 Ace. The differences in between the Ace and Ace Pro is the image sensor and the optical system. This one has f2.4, wider aperture, the 16 millimeter equivalent FOV, equipped with half inch image sensor. And it's a lot cheaper even compared to the Osmo Action 4. For the rest, these two cameras shares the same AI power feature, the AI highlights, the AI warp, and pure shot, pure video, everything they have similar experiences despite the sensor and optics. When you compare the price and availability, Ace Pro is more expensive than Osmo Action 4. The Action 4 is more expensive than the Ace. Well, that's all for the ultimate side-by-side -side comparison between the Insta360 Ace Pro and the DJI Osmo Action 4. If you found this video helpful, I do hope you can get your personal judgment in between these two cameras, figure out your ideal action camera in your content creation. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Talk to you soon. Bye.